gentlemen, welcome back once again to another episode of the Creepy Kents. We're in the Creepy Kent workshop now, aren't we guys? What we've got on tap for you today is our friend here who is... Skeletor. Uh, Skeletor. And we're going to be fixing him. Do you remember what we did last time, kids? What we, we did last time? Show us, Max. This. That's right. So we made that, and in this episode, we're going to show you how we're going to make him into a full-fledged freaky... Scarecrow! Scarecrow! We're gonna fix him! Is this a scarecrow? No, it's a skeleton named Jeff. It's a skeleton named Jeff. Hi, Jeff! And he needs to be fixed because he is dead. He is dead. He does need some fixing when he's dead. We're gonna make ourselves the creepiest scarecrow you've ever seen, so don't go away. Right? Sound good, guys? So, without further ado, I'm Sean Kent. I'm Max Kent. I'm Annabelle Kent. And we're the. Creepy You know what we have to do? What's the first thing we have to do? If we're gonna put on a pumpkin head, what's the first thing we have to do to our skeleton friend? We have to take Jeff's head off. Well, sorry, what? That one. We have to take this head off? Yeah. How do you suppose we'll do that? With that hatchet you have. I'm sorry for this. Oh, he's gonna do it! But it's gotta be done. Well, that was easy. Jeff without a head. Mm. Such a shame. Some wire snips. One leg. There we go. Leg number two. Because I don't have two legs. I leg have number two. So now, we have a torso, some hands. We'll keep those attached. They'll look good. And uh, the pelvis. And we're going to start to work on attaching it to... PVC pipe. So I do a lot of PVC. Now I need to fix the PVC pipe. PVC piping stuff. And what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to take this guy apart so we can pack him away at the end of the season, but I still want him to look awesome on Halloween day. So what I've done is I've taken PVC pieces that I can screw in and screw out. Does that look cool? Ooh, Ooh. telescope, telescope. Oh, yeah. oh. And, I see. Taste and you know what this is called? Uh, it's called the male end, oh. and this end is called the female. That's right, male. Female. female. And we're not going to talk about why. And then what I've got here is these are called T connectors, and they're already attached. I've got one T connector here. I've got some more in my magic bag of tricks here. And these T connectors, the male end, can screw into the female end. And what I'll do is I'll put another piece, and then this. Will be the first part. Oh, that's See, that'll be one arm. Oh. That'll be the other arm, and then we'll put his head sticking through the top here. For the head to attach, we're going to use this smaller, thinner piece of PVC because that'll fit nicely right inside. And I'm going to drill a hole on this T joint so that we can put that right inside. That's dangerous. So okay, so we drilled the hole in here. Now I've used a Dremel tool just sort of to clean it up a little bit. And now this pipe fits nicely right in our connector like that. Now we've got to get this stick. We're going to use this stick to attach our pumpkin head. How are we going to do that? Well, I've gone ahead and used the exact same bit right here and drilled a hole into the pumpkin. So now we can put the stick inside there. And what do I got here? It's a pumpsicle. Do you want to look? Have yeah, have a look. Don't actually like it. There we go. See? Ooh, that's that's awesome. So that's going to work great there. Yeah. And then so that the stick stays in place, what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of the Haunter's best friend. Great stuff. Window and door sealant. And we're just going to spray some of that inside. Just like this. And I don't, they'll be able to see at home, but you guys can see. Look, once I start spraying it in. Oops, I got to use my thumb. 
that's disgusting. Oh, it's like it's barfing in there, isn't it? Mm, yes. There we go. So we got some of that in there. It's stomach. I'm gonna slide this stomach. in here like that. Uh, yeah. There we go. And I'm gonna let it sit like this and dry upside down. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to poke you with the stem. And you can see a little bit of it in there. It's gonna expand up and it's gonna make a nice little. Once I shake it down a bit, it's gonna make a nice little uh, a hole there for our handy dandy stick. To stay in so it doesn't bounce around. So I just put them over here to dry. The next step. It's our head. What do you think the next step is going to be? Getting rid of that zombie over there. That's a good idea. Kill him. <coughs> Take Jeff's torso. Here it is Your here. Torso. Hi, Jeff. And we need some way to connect the torso to our PVC pipe, which is over here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm kind of winging this. So I think I'm going to create holes in my pipe and then use uh, zap straps to attach it. Save up. That surprised you, Annabelle? Yeah. Awesome. And now we've got one, two, two three holes in Bye. our drywall or in our um, PVC. Just taking the extra bits off. Oh, yeah. Okay, Max, you've got little arms. Annabelle has little arms. Okay, hey, I want you to pull this out and stick it in the hole. Okay, and stick it through his rib cage where my finger is. Can you see my finger there? Oh. Through the hole here. I'll help you out. Thank you. Okay, move your fingers. I was gonna zap strap it down. In three, two, one. Oh yeah. Snip. Perfect. And you know what's really cool about this one, guys? This one has like key rings on the side, so I don't have to break it off. But I can take. Oh yeah. I can take his arms off. Isn't that handy? That's pretty handy. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna use these key ring things that came with this particular skeleton. Bong, bong, key I think he got it at a drugstore, like on sale at the end of season. Really? Yeah, one of the Canadian drugstores where shoppers go. And look at this. We now have. Annabelle. What's that? High five. It's a torso on a stick. <laughs> Nobody cares except me. Just about a couple hours break there. We, we did a little, I went for a little jujitsu. You went for a bike ride. And I had pumpkin pie. You had pumpkin pie to eat. Oh, you got more boogers on your face. Oh, I don't know who's working to make it, but they got to stop putting their snot on your face. Okay, so now let's check this guy out. He should be mostly dry now. Oh yeah, look, it's foamed up inside nicely. It's not coming out. See, look. Pop, 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 pop. Ooh, See, and now he's not gonna wiggle around. It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, oh yeah, big lollipop. So if that sat right there, then we get an idea of how tall we want Jeff to be. So we're probably gonna wanna cut Jeff's head off. Ah! No, not again. <laughs> not again. Yeah, we're gonna cut it off probably right about there. Can you get off? Look at that, snap. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a corpse uh, skinning on this. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Episode one of the Creepy Cats. We show you how to do it. And if you bring me that roll over there, Max, this is that big roll, this the is first step. This is the stuff. This is the stuff. Uh, we got this from the movers, actually. This is saran wrap. We're going to try this. Uh, normally, uh, we recommend that you use uh, paint and drop cloths. I have that as a backup there. But I thought I'd give this a try. It's a really thin plastic, so it might work really, really well for what we're going to do and here. It, today. And it's breaky, too. Yeah, it's really easy to breaky. So let's just mummify our good friend Jeff here. Yep. Hi Jeff. Here we go. I'll start at the bottom. You know what Jeff does. We're going to wrap him up.
Okay, so while the corpse is drying, I'm just going to put together some of the key components. Now I've gone ahead and made this just using some PVC cement and PVC fittings. And what I have here is I've made a T-junction with that hole we made for the head. And then I've got two female ends that I'll be able to screw into the, uh, the arms uh, for the uh, scarecrow as well as to attach it right there so it'll be too easy to take it apart uh, at the end of season. And now I'm going to make the arms and the arms are going to screw in to either side of that T. And what I've done is I've gone to the local thrift store and I've got myself uh, this trench coat that uh, I'm going to want the scarecrow to wear. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to measure out the length <laughs> of the arm. So we're sort of tailoring our scarecrow in reverse. And I'm going to want the sleeve to end just at the end there uh, where the hand's going to stick out. So I'll mark that with a sharpie just like that. And I'll pull out my handy dandy measuring tape. We'll give it a measure and it looks like the arms are going to be bang on 32 inches long. So 32 inches from there and then we'll do another one 32 inches uh, just down here. Perfect. And then we'll cut the PVC. So I'll move my T piece out of the way. Here we go, and we're going to put my saw. Just check my measurement, make sure they're about the same here. Again, we're building zombies, not fine furniture. Two arm pieces. We want these two arm pieces now to line up with this, so we're going to have to put two male ends on that. We're not plumbing for real, so it doesn't actually need to be sealed. Okay, I don't do this nearly as well as a plumber would. A little excess, shake that off onto the draw cloth. And in a few minutes, those will dry. Here we go, kids. Okay, so it's a couple days later, everything's dried, all the paint's dried, and we have all the parts done. So what do we have here? What is this, guys? That's called, that's called a bone, a, a bone, and a hand bone. A hand bone. So this will be his arm. So we'll put that uh, down there, and we've got the other arm, all that belonged to the original Jeff skeleton. Because you've got to have two arms. That's right. And then we've made these. These are the sticks that we're going to put in for his arms. Uh, no. And we've got a coat for him to wear. We'll just put that on the floor for now. And we're going we're gonna to make this spookier. We're going to cut it up and make it look more awesome. It's thundering and lightning today. This is like perfect for us putting together our scarecrow guy. What do you not like about this? Because it's gross. Oh, it is gross, isn't it? Yeah, and then pass me the head, Annabelle. Oh, thunder! We like thunder. Okay. It's raining, it's pouring. That there old guy says he's snoring. There we go, and we're just going to put the head on for final demonstration. Get in your hole. There we go, and that pretty much brings them all together. Okay, no more monkeying around. So, went to the hardware store, bought a fence post. And for a little extra support, got myself some galvanized steel. That'll slide right in here, into the bottom of the PVC, give it that extra strength. Like so. And oh yeah, now we're in business. He really wants to go up. Oh. Woo. oh yeah. Oh. Hey. These guy lines more than anything stop from spinning around in the wind. And that, my friends, is how you make a scarecrow. Okay, folks, that wraps it up for us. It's starting to get dark, right? Woo!
Oh, okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go inside. We're probably gonna have some hot chocolate and warm up. But uh, in the meantime, we're gonna leave our creepy scarecrow out here. So what do we want the folks at home to do, Annabelle? Subscribe and like and share. Awesome, also awesome. Be careful with putting him up. Perfect, yeah. okay. So let's get back in the house where it's nice and warm, okay? Race it in, let's go.